how do you measure your returns? You'll usually see three terms, CAGR, XIRR and TWRR. All are useful, but they tell different stories. CAGR or Compound Annual Growth Rate is for lump sum investments. You invest once, stay put and CAGR tells you how much you have grown on average per year. But if you have been investing monthly through SIPs or taking out money in between, CAGR doesn't work well. That's where XIRR or Extended Internal Rate of Return comes in. It's built to handle multiple cash movements, accounting for the exact dates and amounts of each investments or withdrawal. Perfect for SIPs or staggered investments. TWRR is also for investments made at different times, but the way it's computed, it eliminates the impact of the timing of inflows and outflows. It instead reveals the true performance of the underlying investments. This is the SEBI mandated method for reporting performance of PMS schemes. While XIRR is the return received by you, TWRR is the return delivered by the investments. The gap being on account of the timing of the cash flows. Use CAGR for one-time investments and XIRR for SIPs or anything with multiple entries or exit. Use TWRR to evaluate your fund manager. Knowing the difference helps you track your true returns, not just the simplified version.